Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Before starting the video, I want to thank you all for 1K subscribers. I never thought I'll reach this milestone in just one month of starting this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. Anyway, let's go back to the video. If you've been following the AI scene for a while, you would have seen how everyone uses Google Colab for running high-end LLMs or diffusion models. They use it because it provides access to a free GPU, which allows them to run those high-end LLMs. I'm not one of them. I prefer to do things locally. But when I have to run some big LLM or diffusion model to make a video about them, I need to tolerate the ugly Colab interface. I've never liked their interface. It feels like I'm in the 1990s doing research on aliens. And not just that. Most of the time, you don't get a GPU allocated. You don't have persistent storage, which means that once you run something and then close the browser, all that data will be gone, and you'll need to do the whole environment setup from the start. Also, you could get timed out if you're not active for even five minutes, and then you need to do the whole setup again. Basically, it wasn't reliable at all. So, I didn't want to suffer, which is why I'm always on the lookout for something that is simple to use, gives me terminal access to fully customized behaviors, and allows me to run whatever I want to. It also needs to allow persistent storage, so that whenever I open it, I can find my previous data. Basically, I wanted GitHub workspaces, but with a GPU, and that's what I found today. Lightning AI Lightning AI gives you a web-based VS Code interface. You get one free studio that can run 24-7, and you also get 22 GPU hours. This might get a little confusing, so I'll try to explain it in simple terms. With Lightning AI, you get one studio that is basically an instance with 4 cores and 16 GB RAM, with which you can interact through a web-based VS Code. You can run this 24-7 without any issues. They'll automatically switch it off when there's no activity, and then you can spin it up again when needed. You can use this instance as a simple VS Code instance whenever you need to code or do anything that you generally do with a computer. But whenever you need to run a big LLM or a diffusion model, you can transform this VS Code instance into a GPU powerhouse by adding a GPU to the instance, which is seamless. And once your work with that GPU is done, you can detach it. On the free tier, you can only use the GPU for a total of 22 hours in a month. So enough talk for now. Let me tell you how you can use it. First, go to the Lightning AI site. Then, get yourself signed up. They have a waiting list, so when you sign up, It'll take about two to three days for you to get access. I got access in about two days. You'll be informed about it through an email notification. Anyway, once you have access, log in. You'll see something like this on your screen. Click on Create a Studio, choose the code option, and click Start. It will take two to three minutes, and you'll see a VS Code interface on your screen. You can use it just like you use VS Code. But on the right and top, you'll see some options given by the platform. On top, you'll see your live CPU and other usage metrics. Then, on the right, you'll see multiple options. The first one is where you can change your machine type from default to a GPU option. The second one is the terminal. And then, below that, you have the option to change your interface from VS Code to Jupyter, which will make the interface look like Colab, and there are also some other options like Google's TensorBoard. Anyway, that doesn't concern us. Now, let's first try running Llama 3 on this default CPU machine, and then we'll try the GPU version. To do that, first open up the terminal, get Olama installed through their website, then install Llama 3. Here, 
I have also added a verbose option to the run command so that we can check how many tokens per second it is producing. Okay, it's installed now. Let's send a hi message. Okay, so it's giving an output of about three tokens a second. Pretty slow. Now let's change this instance to a GPU instance. You don't need to do anything. Just click on the first option on the right sidebar. Then, choose GPU. You have multiple GPU options. The pricing of these is based on credits. You get 15 credits on the free tier every month, which basically means that you can use the T4 GPU for 22 hours. Anyway, choose the T4 GPU and press Confirm. Once done, you'll need to wait for a minute, and the page will refresh, and you will be shifted to a new instance. Open up your terminal again. Let's send a hi message. Okay, it's instantaneous. We are getting a response time of about 43 tokens per second. Pretty cool. I won't be using Colab anymore, and we'll be using this going forward. Let me know if you will use it too in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.